Greetings and salutations, YouTube is here and here. Welcome to a new video. Hello everyone, Jay Hey, because they're all doing fantastic. I'm here today with a haul video. And if you're interested in seeing the thrifting video for this particular haul, I'm gonna have it linked right there and down below in the description box as well. Um, I'm really excited to get into this haul because I got some really, really great stuff. But first, if you guys love thrifting, thrift hauls, vlogs, do not forget to subscribe, hit that little bell button so that you're notified when new videos do go up at me on Instagram. It's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here, check out my shop, it's Hadrian.com to see what I have for sale from my thrifting adventures. But without further ado, let's head into this haul because I got some pretty primo stuff that I can't wait to share with you guys. So let's start off first. Okay, so I was really excited about this because um, I think I'm just going to keep this for myself though because I have been obsessed with this and I have actually been looking for it for like a hot second and I, f I can't believe I found it at uh, Crossroads but it is the Coach Rexy crossbody strap <laughs> from Coach. It's so stinking cute. There's a little Rexy charm right there. Um, it has like woven with like the um, chain and the leather and it's just awesome. Um, the crossbody, the strap, uh, like, attaches with, like, this leather kind of thingamabobber right there. Um, and this was $37.50, which is not too shabby for this, because I remember this was pretty expensive. And this is just, like, a fun strap that you can attach to your handbags. I love, like, contrasting straps on handbags. I think that's so much fun. This would be pretty cute, like, on, like, a Louis Vuitton, like this one. I think this would be super cute on there. Um, a brown, like a darker brown bag, because I think this is like a, this is black, so like a brown colored bag, this would be fun on, um, like a blue bag, like really anything, like, let your imagination soar, I say, so very excited about this, and yeah, so I got, that's the first thing that I had to share with you guys, then up next, this one is super cute too, um, when I saw it, I was like, is that a Proenza? But it was a Kate Spade, which I'm not mad about because I do love Kate Spades. And this one is super cute. So it's a little, like a school satchel. It's in an off-white pebbled leather, light gold hardware, as per usual for Kate Spade. Um, I love the little lock on the front. You pop it in, you push it in, and then it pops up. Um, there is a pocket right here. And then another zipper pocket right there, which is perfect for... Um, organization and then another great pocket here in the back with a little button snap closure which is great so yeah uh, a long adjustable crossbody strap and it's also removable you just want to carry it with a top panel like this which is super duper cute and this one was $47.50 it's in pretty good condition just has a couple little marks on it they think I can just um, use conditioner to get that right off um, and yeah so it's in pretty great shape I uh, love this bag so much. It's super duper cute. And I feel like this is a great bag like throughout the year. I feel like an off-white bag, you like really can't go wrong with it. I feel like it goes great with almost everything. And yeah, so there we go. Kate Spade. Just plop that baby down over there. Okay, so then up next, um, Ooh, this is a really cute Tory Burch wallet. It's in an embossed printed lizard skin. Really, really cute. Um, it's in pretty decent shape. It has a little bit of markings on the hardware, but again, it's not very noticeable because of the print. It's kind of pretty much camouflaged already anyway. And there, um, this guy was $28. Um, the interior is in pretty great shape. No, like, it's, like, black inside, which is really nice. Um, and, yeah, no, it's, like, nothing, like, really, yeah. Beautiful wallet. Great, great, great Tory Burch. Um, then up next, I have this beautiful gray Michael Kors. I think this is called the Jet Set Toe. I'm not 100% sure, but... I love this one. It has the pockets on either sides. It has the little dongle here in the front. It's a beautiful gray Safiano leather with silver hardware. And the interior has four open pockets, a zipper pocket, and a key fob as well. And it also zips across the top. So this is really, really nice if you're, uh, for not just for every day, but for traveling. This is a awesome travel bag. It's pretty lightweight. It holds a lot, lots of compartments, and it zips closed, which is a necessity. 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Michael Kors. Plus, I love this gray color. It's such a pretty gray. You guys are going to love it. Uh, okay, what do we have next? Up next, um, we have this beautiful Coach little handbag right here. Now, it does also have a crossbody. So, um, I love how it's... This is a turn lock. It kind of reminds me of the trapeze bag from Celine. Because you can pop out the wings like this as well if you want. And then suddenly it looks just like the trapeze, which is super duper cute. Or you can just have the sides in like that and it changes the entire silhouette of the bag. Which I also love because I like I'm, being able to change the silhouette of a bag is so cool because it's so versatile. And it's like two bags in one. But what's perfect is that you can also use this as not just a top handle that you can carry in your arm. You can even put this on your shoulder, which is very nice. It, holds, it sits very comfortably on there. But again, it has that longer strap as well. So it's perfect. Um, there is a zipper pocket right inside there. Another pocket, an open pocket right there. This is also a pocket. And then on the back is another pocket. So... Tons of compartments, really, really great. And yeah, a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful little coach bag. And plus I love this kind of like, um, what would I say the color is? It's kind of like a khaki color, kind of pewtery. It's nice and it's a, a smooth leather right here. And then this is a pebbled leather on the back and the underneath the top flap. And then the sides are actually suede. So you have three different types of leather on this bag. Which is very cool. I love like the texture that it has. And I think that's always super duper fun. Uh, up next, we have this Michael Kors Hamilton. And this is in the black pebble leather. And this is the one with the studs. So nice and decorative. Um, well, actually, they're not really studs. They kind of look like studs. But it's woven leather. Like woven silver leather. I'm sorry, it's not studs. Uh, but it's really, really cool. So now that you see that detail... You get up close and you see how it's like woven through. That's actually super duper cool how they did that. But um, really really nice. Just has the silver plaque on there. Um, in the interior it has a middle zipper compartment which is very nice. Uh, and then a back zipper pocket right there. And then two pockets right here. So you can't really see because it's so dark inside the bag because it's black. And then two more pockets. So this one has a lot of storage. It has the top handle and then it also has the cross body Strap. And this is in the medium size of the Michael Kors Hamilton. How much did I get this guy for? Let's see. This one was $30. $30. Okay, up next we have... Ooh, okay, this one is a doozy of a find. This one I was very excited about. And this is the Coach Willis bag. And this is in like a camel... Brown color with gold hardware. This bag is so gorgeous. I do also have the crossbody strap. It's just tucked inside. Um, this bag is in fantastic condition. Um, this one was made in Costa Rica. So it is um, vintage as well. So it has that beautiful buttery vintage leather that um, Coach was known for. Um, I love the color of this. There's the back pocket right there. There's an interior pocket as well. The hardware is in great shape. The leather is in great shape. There's a pocket right here under the top flap and then a zipper pocket in there as well. Uh, the Willis bags are so awesome, especially the vintage ones, that Coach has actually started selling the vintage bags on their website, their refurbished vintage bags. And I feel, I, I believe the Willis bags are all sold out, but they resell the Willis bags on the Coach website for, I think it's $595 or $495, something like that. $495 or $595, which is, wow. <laughs> that's like, that's like a testament to how amazing these bags are made because I feel like the quality and craftsmanship of a vintage Coach is really like no other like it's really crazy how well these bags hold up and this bag is like probably old as me and it has withstood the test of time and looks fantastic i look at that the leather is beautiful supple it's soft it's perfection okay so enough of that this one was 30 dollars um up next 
This one was also there. I feel like everything I bought was like $30. Um, this one is a Dooney and Burke. It is in the nylon canvas. And then it has the smooth brown leather trim and polished brass hardware. This one is stunning. And to top it off, this one's actually brand new. Um, it has the original tags still attached right here as well. It has the, um, all of the card info and all that stuff. You can register it. And, ooh, there's a little paper. Oh. Dear customer, if you have any questions or complaints regarding the quality of packaging this, of this enclosed bag, it's inspected by Christina. So... That is cool. Christina inspected this bag when it went out. Um, but beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shoulder bag. I love it. Um, it has a middle zipper compartment, which is really cool. I feel like I've never really seen that with this style of bag before. Um, it has three open compartments as zipper pockets and then a key fob as well. So, yeah, this one was pretty cool to find, especially for being brand new. Dooney and Burke, Dooney and, uh, Dooney, Dooney and Burke bags are just so fantastic. Um, especially, you, I really like the nylon ones too. If you like the nylon, the fabric that they use for these hold up really, really well. And the color on that is magnificent. It's kind of like, it's like a bright, almost electric cobalt-y kind of blue. It's really, really cool. I feel like they... The camera doesn't really do it justice because of the light that I'm using because it's the middle of the night right now while I'm filming this. It kind of like reflects off of this so it makes it like a different color. But um, when I have it listed in the shop, I'm going to get it as true to color as possible so you guys will see the beauty of that blue. Uh, okay, what do we have next? Okay, up next we have this beautiful large, what is that? Need to clean this bag up a little bit. But this is a Michael... This also might be a Michael Kors Jet Set Tote. I don't know which one it's a Jet Set Tote. But this is another um, tote. Michael Kors. This is the large one. Uh, navy Safiano leather with gold hardware. A um, little key fob. Or a little fobby right here. Um, gold hardware. I said that. And in the middle has a laptop bag. So that's very nice. Um, it'll hold a... I believe it's a 15 inch MacBook Pro in the middle. Um, there is a two open pockets right here. Uh, another pocket in front of the laptop portion. Two open pockets, um, a zipper pocket, and then a key fob as well. So lots of compartments, lots of stuff. This bag just needs a little bit of a cleaning and then it'll be good to go. I love this style so much. It reminds me of a Louis Vuitton Neverfull and I do love a Neverfull. So, um, this bag is exquisite. Love it. <sighs> okay, I'm running out of breath. <laughs> okay, what do we have next? Ooh, okay. This one is super cool. I've, I feel like I've never seen a bag like this before. Um, it doesn't have a brand. It's a little bit, um, dirty inside. I think it just needs a cleaning. Because I think neoprene will clean pretty, um, well. But, okay, so check it out. It is a green neoprene Birkin <laughs> style bag. Um, so it's in forest green, uh, gold hardware. It has like, it definitely like has like the top portion, uh, like that, like the top flap of the bag. Um, it's super soft. This actually will sit on your shoulder if you want to carry it on your shoulder like that. Uh, I don't know, it's such a super cute bag. <laughs> the studs are super fun on the front. Um, the inside, this you know, this would actually be a really good, like, beach bag. Because it's, like, neoprene, it's easy to clean. The interior definitely needs some cleaning. It looks like something might have spilled inside, but it being neoprene, it's probably going to be easy to clean. I might even be able to put it in the washing machine, maybe, possibly. Again, there's no brand, there's no label, no tag on the inside. I don't know who made this, but I just thought this was super duper cute, and I just had to get it. I love getting any bag that like looks like a Birkin, looks like a Kelly. That's just like, I just think that's always so fun finding like bags like this. So this was super duper cool. Very excited. I believe that one was $20. Whoo! Oh, we still have more. 
I thought we were almost done, but I guess I was just kidding. Um, up next, we have a, another Michael Kors. This is the Michael Kors Selma. Uh, this is in the quilted burgundy leather gold hardware. This one is one of those like special edition ones that they do, um, that they do like every year. Um, probably, I feel like the quilted ones come out around winter time. They come out in different colors. Sometimes they have studs on them too. Um, but this one, um, special edition is the zipper on the front as well as the quilting. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The interior, oh, I have something else in there. I'm going to show you guys in a second. The interior has a zipper pocket, two open pockets, and a key fob. Um, it zips all the way closed. This one has the top panels and the removable slash adjustable crossbody strap. Um, beautiful. Just needs a little bit of a cleaning and conditioning, and then it's going to be good to go. But yeah, Michael Kors Selma. So fun. Love it. Selma is one of our favorite styles, right? So very excited to found that. Um, up next, I have been staring at this wallet for so long and it finally went on sale and I got my little hands on it. So this is a Tory Burch little half wallet. It was $42.50. So I got it for half off. So it was $21.25. Um, needs a little bit of a cleaning, but I feel like it'll clean up pretty well. I don't even know. Is it going to show? Can you guys see that? Anyway, um, the interior is in pretty good shape, and I think it's navy. Yeah, it's a navy on the inside. The inside is in, like, almost pristine condition. It's really, really good. There's a coin little pouch right there. Um, lots of key lots of card holders and all that stuff. Only the exterior needs a little bit of work, and I think it just needs a little bit of conditioning and cleaning, and uh, I think it'll be good to go. So, very excited about that guy. Excited to get my hands on it so I can clean it up and it'll be up in the shop. I know you guys love a good Tory Burch wallet and I love them too. So, um, there's that. And then, oh, okay. This one is so, so cool. So this is a vintage Dolce & Gabbana handbag. Okay, so this bag is exclusive. It just needs a little bit. It's like a little bit of a fixer upper, but like not too much. Um, so these, the hardware on here is amazing. Like you have to look at how beautiful the hardware on this, the attention to detail is exquisite. Uh, these little Dolce and Gabbana buckles on either side are so cool. They are so fun. Um, the little feathers on the zipper pull are super duper cool like i cannot they're just like so fabulous um the leather is so like i don't know it's like so buttery and it's like so like substantial and i don't know like when you, you just feel the leather it just feels amazing uh, and the interior is it's just like a red fabric there's one zipper pocket on the inside and that is pretty much it but yeah it's just a nice little shoulder bag and i love when you carry it on your shoulder like this and then just like the dolce is like right here and it's like so beautiful i just love the detail and do you see like the roses on there i don't know why it reminds me of like sleeping beauty it's like very like briar rose ish right i don't know is that just me but um even the the buckle has it as well and then the chain Ah, uh, so gorgeous. So this bag is so beautiful. It was $50, but worth it. Because this is like, I feel like this is so iconic and indicative of like, that like, I think it was like 80s, 90s Dolce & Gabbana. So cool. I feel like Naomi Campbell rocked this on the runway back then, and it is just fabulous. So, um, very excited to have that up. I know there's a lot of you guys that appreciate that vintage designer, and I am just like... Love it! Okay, so up next, um, I have this little coach right here, just a little, um, wallet. And it is kind of like in a metallic red gold hardware. There's a zipper pocket right there. It's actually a wristlet, right, because it has a little wristlet right there. Um, you can actually tuck the wristlet inside if you don't want to use the wristlet portion. And then it's just tucked away, so it's not just, like, flip-flapping all over this place. But you can actually put your phone in here, but I don't believe... It's, um, I think it's for, actually, let me see if my phone will fit in here. I probably, it might fit without the case. So let's find out, shall we? Okay. So I have the iPhone 
Pro Max size, right? And ooh, it does not fit. Okay, so it almost fits. So probably, definitely the regular iPhone will fit. The regular Pro will fit. Um, just not the Pro Max. Uh, and probably not the Max size. Because I think they're all the same size. But um, still a super cute ball. It has one, two, three, four, five little card slots. The coin pouch in the back. And you don't have to use this for your phone. You can just like keep your cash here. Receipts or whatever. And then it just buttons up nicely just like that so that is that and then but wait there's more even more stuff oh my gosh this turned out to be a very long haul that I was I feel like I didn't expect this video to be this long um, so thank you for sticking with me through this long haul uh, we're at 20 minutes yay okay up next we have this beautiful um, Henry Bendel uh, drawstring crossbody bag. Um, the Henry Bendel part on like the writing has come off like a little bit, but not too much. Um, has a little drawstringy thing right here. I love the inside because it is a beautiful like periwinkle blue. And then it does also have the matching periwinkle blue pouch. Now the pouch is a little dirty, could use a little bit of a cleaning, but that is no problemo. Forgot to check the zipper, it works perfectly. Um, but yeah, little pouch. The pouch is removable as well, so if you wanted to just remove the pouch and just use it by itself, you can definitely do that as well. So it's like a two for one special. <laughs> but um, really, really cute bag. I love the Safiano leather, very nice. Nice and structured. I love the pop of the blue with the interior. Looks kind of like a Monster Gabrielle, which is very fun. And I love the little thing right here that holds the drawstrings. I think that's really cool. And yeah, beautiful Henry Bendel. And okay, I have two more things I totally forgot to show you guys um, in another video. But this is from the same day. Um, so if you guys watched that video, you guys all know what I'm talking about because we went to um the goodwill boutique in that store or in that video um i got this what is it called um j w home and this is a wine holder bag these are made in usa leather um the i forget what the inside is but it's like fur um it's really cool at first i was like what is this, this is like a furry bag you can put your hands inside here Keep it warm during the winter. I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. But I guess it's for wine. I did not know that. But I guess it's so your wine doesn't freeze when you go outside or something like that. Uh, but really, really cute. Um, Breaker's Place on Instagram. He actually messaged me when he saw this in a video. And he was like, how long ago was this? And do you think it's still there? And I was like, uh, it was a week ago and maybe, I don't know. And he was like, those things are really pricey and you should go back and get it. And I did. So, yeah. So here it is. Very excited. Uh, so, yeah. There's that. And then one last thing to share with you guys. And it is this Michael cores another tote this one is a sky blue this one's pretty dirty but just needs a little bit of a cleaning and then i think it'll look brand new um and i got this one for 13 dollars um and that is the i love you guys so much if you guys enjoyed the video please give it a big thumbs up say hi down below in the comments especially if you guys are new welcome to the channel i love you guys so much thank you for being here check out today's vlog it's up at two and i'll see you guys all in the next video bye it's this cute little case spade double zip. 47 50 Coach So Rebecca Minkoff More Rebecca This one's a mark by mark. How much is this one? 